Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'm playing the final blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start off with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start off with the game and see how it goes. Got the white pieces. I'll play the London system setup. It starts with d4. Um, bishop on f4, trying to develop the bishop first and then playing e3 so that the bishop is out of the spawn chain. And then I can develop a uh, knight maybe, trying to take control of e5 straight away. Now if bishop comes in, we can definitely play e5. Uh, I can play c3 for now. A couple of ideas, bishop going here, knight going here, trying to pin the knight there. And I think I can start with that and maybe even play queen here just in case. Uh, knight here works perfectly fine because now I'm pressurizing this. Uh, he does take. I can take with bishop or I can take with the pawn. Generally, you should take with the pawn, but here the knight would come and... I don't see a follow-up of that. Okay, so now I can take the bishop. Otherwise, he's going to take this and spoil my pawn structure as well. Um, should I take the knight or not? I'm not looking forward to it. Maybe play uh, f3 later. So I did up the knight. Oh, I lost a piece there. Miscalculation. Oh, he missed it. Because if he takes on the... Uh, the knight and I take his bishop he can take back so he could have won a piece there but he didn't so let's not give him another chance for that I get my bishop back he does take this time I'll take where does the knight go here here loses so goes back which is very passive for the knight and it might take ages for it to come out from there Meanwhile, we're lining up the battery. Uh, this is a weak move because N Pasan gets the pawn. Yes, knight come up, comes out, but now we're going for here and then probably taking the bishop on. Even this might work, uh, but we have to displace the bishop from here. Or I can go here and here. This looks more controlling to me suddenly. Or this is because this still has both the things planned up. Okay. What have I got? I'll play pawn forward. Just trying to defend my knight because I like my knight there. Don't want to displace it from there. Bishop goes back. And I think it's time to go for some pawn army or i can first play knight here rook, rook on g enforcing it okay let's go well i can plant my bishop here as well i don't mind just in case once the knight moves which does happen check here would work i doubt Knight is guarded, but I think I should take the knight now. Because check, uh, sorry, check from h7 loses because he goes there. Then of course I can give a check from knight, but then, oh wait, does it lose and out? It does actually. It goes there. Oh, what if I give a check? This is nice because he has to take now. I take and let's check. This doesn't win me. So I can take the pawn at least. Threatening knight, the queen as well. And now I'm going with queen to g6 next. Yep, queen g6, trying to uh, do a quick mate on g7 now. Okay, does take that, but How does it solve his issue? Q 
because there's a bigger problem lying here. Yes, you can give a check and maybe another. Or oh, it exchanges the queens. Cool enough. Still ahead in the game. I can proceed with the pawn. Which he does take. I'll take with the rook so that I can take another pawn, maybe. Now I can't. Or maybe I can. Um, but no, I don't want to take risk. Because if I take, he comes up. And then probably I will lose some of the pieces. I'll go here attacking the rook. And maybe not. Oh, I can castle, sorry. Lost my casting rights. I'll go here trying to attack the knight. Let's see where the knight goes. Okay. And probably. Let's exchange the knights. I'm ahead in the game. Maybe time to get the other rook on the board. Yep. Developing the other rook as well. And now maybe. Okay, what is that? I'll go here. This is not a problem because I can certainly move. Also, the pawn is guarding everything for now. So, okay, let's go here with the idea of going here and then taking on this. Yep. And now we're attacking a couple of pawns. Both cannot be saved. Norman is pretty much considering to win on time, I think, which will not happen anyways. So let me take this. Okay. I'll come back. Give a check maybe. Play pawn forward, maybe this, so that I can take on the bishop. Okay, he does take. Wait a sec. My time. Now I have to take this pawn because otherwise this becomes problematic at the end. His bishop is hanging, if he doesn't see that. I can go here and here. And take one of the pawns. 41 seconds, I back myself to win this. Okay, what is thinking now? When he had to think, he didn't think. Goes up. Trying to save. Okay, let's see. What all can he save? And this as well coming. Okay, let's push me down. Okay, can I go here? Check. And I can take this. Hmm. Not sure. I can. Let's take. Just trying to simplify the game. I have this pawn. I have this pawn. So either of them is going to promote. And that's going to happen pretty soon. Okay. I'll, I'll proceed with this. Can play this next. I'll take, I'll go down. Now he's not doing anything, and I'm proceeding with the pawn. Queen on the board. Come down, that's it. That's a check. That's a mate actually. Yep. As I said, that was easy. 41 seconds on the clock was too much. Still got 14 remaining. Let's analyze the game quickly once from computer perspective as well. 
uh, yes, I did a blunder in the beginning, which he didn't capitalize on. Uh, I dealt the bishop first on f4, and then open plays b5. I spawned with e3. I could pin the knight, but I tried to develop my uh, knight first. Open plays e6. I play c3. Pawn h6. I now pin the knight. He gives bishop for exchange, but I go on with my knight on e5. Here he takes, and I take back with the bishop. He puts his bishop in between, and as I said, I move the knight. Moving my knight was the wrong decision here because he gets to take this, and if I ever try to take on the bishop, that's bad news. So I didn't have to take this, and after he takes the bishop, I can take the knight, and he can take with the queen. So black has got better uh, positioning here. Though material-wise, uh, nothing much, I would say. But he has got the light square bishop. I'm my uh, kingside diagonal. Queen is already on, uh, developed. Uh, whereas, if you see white, knight has yet to be developed to a proper square. Queen is also on the root square and castling is prevented here. So that's why the advantage of two points uh, to the black here. This could have been one possible thing. But instead, my open castles here gives me an opportunity to... Uh, bring my bishop back so i got it he takes i take back with the pawn goes back to knight to e8 the only square there for the knight uh, to save itself and here i just got my queen uh, on uh, c2 open the swans with f5 which is bad because n pathan can happen and i take on the pawn then i get my knight on f3 trying to consolidate then knight goes to e5, uh, right move there as well. Yes, I can play f4, and that's what I do, defending the knight, because knight is pretty strong there. And he goes bishop back to c8. Now, that was a bad move, because you're just blocking your rook connectivity, and you are getting your bishop to undo, undevelop. That's a bad move. And then I just got rook to g1. Yes, computer searching in castle also, but I preferred getting my rook active first, and then play g4. Nice to attack, I go to the right square, which was g6, and then I give the check, right move, and then another one, and then I took on the rook, took on the pawn, everything is perfect so far. Now I have to get my knight in between, but rather I went with the queen, and here the open can have a draw. Let's see how, because if he takes, I go there. Oh, he has to just repeat. But what if I just go here next? Oh, I lose the rook. So I can't go there. So I have to go only to f1 to save the rook. And Open didn't see that and tried to exchange queens at the board. And that was bad. And then I proceeded with the pawn, took on with the rook, uh, got my knight to c7. Nice move there. Getting my other rook active. Oh, this was also nice. I could have just. Kept his bishop and rook there forever. That could have been one thing, but if he goes here, we're going to just maintain this spin throughout the game. Okay. Rather, I give him knight for exchange, took it, and then he tries to attack. And then I just proceed with my rooks, uh, trying to make better use of them, trying to take on a pawn there. Giving a check, and then proceeding with uh, h4 there. Operant does take the pawn. I took his pawn first. He sideways side steps with the king. Uh, had he taken with the bishop, then also doesn't make a difference because I can take with the rook as well. But I have to be a bit careful here. I have to take the pawn first because if I do this, uh, most probably he's going to get a queen on the board pretty quick. And that will just lead to a draw. Because here, white gets to escape. And if I try to give a check, he does escape now. I don't have much options here because after some time, I have to leave the check. And as soon as I do, well, this is not stopping. And black is winning. So I have to be a bit careful at the end game as well. I took on the pawn first, eliminating the last remaining thread. And then I just proceeded with my king in the center. He tries to block my king. Then I move in, started moving the pawn, got my rook king back. Give him a check, another one, and took on the bishop eventually, asking him to take, uh, because if he does take now, 
I can take back. And after my opponent takes, well, this queen is not getting stopped. So whatever you do, I'll have queen on the board, and then you cannot stop. You don't have rook. Your pawn is pretty much stuck. So all you have is king, which will last not more than six moves as computer suggesting. So let's go back to the game where he doesn't take and tries to hang on to the situation, but I just give him a check and then proceeded with other pawn uh, and then pushing my pawn forward. He tries to delay his mate. That's it. I get the queen on board and that's mate in four from there. Now mate in three. That's mate in one and that's what I do with queen to e6. So a nice game, I would say. A um, couple of things which could have led it to a draw or maybe a loss in the beginning that I blunder at that I did. So yeah, life gives you chances. So does chess. So try to be uh, ready to capture onto those. I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. And keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.